I'm Sarah with the Beaverton City Library, and I'm going to share my reviews of three books. And the books in this list are good for ages two to six, and they all happen to be concept books. These books are part of a larger list of staff recommendations for kids, a wide range of kids, um, you know, birth to high school. And if you'd like to see the whole list, you can go to WCCLS dot bibliocommons.com and search lists for the one titled Great Books 2021. You can also just ask a librarian to help you find this list. So if you're wanting to share a concept book with a toddler or preschooler, look no further than This is a Book of Shapes, written and illustrated by Kenneth Craigle. So concept books are always a great choice because they give children that base of knowledge that they'll need for further learning and concept books about shapes are always a great idea because when kids understand shapes that helps them understand the shapes of letters which will help them get ready to read but this is no ordinary book about shapes there it is a book about shapes but there's also this humor element um, so the part that's just the plain book about shapes that will appeal to toddlers but the there's this non sequitur humor element, and that will appeal more to preschoolers. If you're familiar with the non sequitur humor that we see in Jan Thomas's books, this one, this is the same kind of humor. So for instance, we start off, this is a circle, this is a square, and then we have, this is an emu pushing a pancake wagon down a hill. Is that book, is that page about shapes? No. So as you're reading this to your child, you can play up that, you know, this fits, that fits. Does that page fit? No, and laugh about that and how silly the animal antics are. Another concept book is this one, Peace, that is written by Baptiste Paul and Miranda Paul and illustrated by Esteli Meza. And the concept here is in the realm of social emotional learning. Uh, such as thinking about how others feel, how we get along as a community. Um, so this is a rhyming picture book, and it's a good match for preschool age kids. And this book lays out different facets of peace and some things I like about it. There's a lot of people of color. We see people of different abilities. And I wanted to share one line I especially like. Peace can begin with a laugh and a wave and grow into actions remarkably brave. So we see how we can all work together to create a larger peace. Another quote I like is one that says, peace is pronouncing your friend's name correctly. So on that note, I just wanted to share that before I did this book review, I went online and I listened to how the authors say their own names so that I could replicate and say their names correctly. I still may not get it perfectly right. Um, I'm doing my best. Uh, I appreciate if you give me grace and correct me so that if, if I am still getting it wrong so that I can get it right in the future. Um, some other things I like about this book are the illustrations. They're just warm illustrations. I find the whole book calming. It's a great book um, when your child is just ready to snuggle up next to you and have some together kind together time. Our final concept book is Counting Creatures, written by Julia Donaldson, who's a prolific children's author, and illustrated by Sharon King Chai. And Sharon has done some beautiful illustrations here. So it's uh, the concept book part, the counting part, will appeal to preschool age kids, but the illustrations will appeal to an older audience, uh, kindergartners and beyond. As an adult, I'm just really drawn in to the illustrations and really enjoyed looking at this book. There's also flaps and cutaway Heidi pages, so that just makes this um, something appealing to a wider audience. So this is a progressive counting book. We start with one baby bat and go up to 20 caterpillars and I just want to share some of the a little more of the illustrations I'm talking about so I like how there's this contrast between 
you know, a big eye-catching drawing, so a simple element, and then a deep, more detailed element in how it's created, and the other background drawings, the drawings of the babies, just really neat and engaging. So those are some recommendations.